Well, investing in a 401k is a very popular way to plan for retirement. It's often offered through a traditional or Roth 401k by your employer. Mike Reeves of Strategic Wealth Designers joining us now to kind of dive into the retirement saving plans. Good morning to you, Mike. Good morning, Scott. How are you? I am doing well. A lot of people wonder how their 401ks are going to be doing after some time. So here's the first question. How much do you actually recommend, and I assume this might be different, for individuals to invest in their 401k? Well, at, at the minimum, you want to get all the free money. I mean, who doesn't like free money? Employers often match a certain amount of money based on your salary going into that 401k or 403b or 457. So you want to make sure you get that amount in. And that's a minimum. Uh, ideally, though, we would put in the maximum under 50. That's going to be 19,500. Over 50, you're talking $27,000. All right, so what about retirement savings plans? I know they come with mutual fund investing options to choose from. I guess what should people be on the lookout for when making that kind of a selection? Really, the number one thing, fees. You know, with mutual funds, they can have a lot of fees in them. It just depends on the fund. So you want to focus on index funds. Index funds, much lower fees, sometimes 1% or 2% cheaper. Over time, that could be a, a lot of money. Also, depending on the study you look at, index funds typically outperform those actively managed higher fee funds. All right. Index funds sounds like the way to go. So what should people be considering when deciding whether to invest? Because I know people have heard of it. A traditional 401k, a Roth 401k, a special K. That's one of my favorite cereals. <laughs> no, but seriously, which one, Mike? Well, it really depends on taxes. So if taxes go higher in the future, some folks might be paying the same amount of taxes they were paying when they were working or even more. So uh, the two different types, as you mentioned, the pre-tax or traditional option, the post-tax or Roth option, the Roth option allows you to pay taxes now and never pay taxes again. Very desirable with higher taxes or folks that are younger, if you're making a tremendous amount of money, obviously putting money in pre-tax is a very good option for you. So it, it depends on if taxes are going higher, depends on your age, it depends on are you okay with short-term pain versus long-term gain. There you go. Ask your financial advisor because there was a lot of depends on that. All right, <laughs> Mike Reeves of Strategic Wealth Designers, one of the best advisors out there. Thanks for being here this morning. We appreciate it, Mike. Thank you. Not a problem. Lindy, over to you.